Hello everybody, my name is Kendra and welcome back for another video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and finished off the regular season, the fourth season of uh, uh, that we played so far. We ended up almost having the President's Trophy, but the Flyers were just too good the entire season and they ended up stealing it from us. Uh, so we finished up as the second best team of the league, unfortunately. We came up against a weird-ass team in the San Jose Sharks in the first round. Uh, they somehow, when we looked at the lineups, they didn't have anything whatsoever. We have a beast of a team and they had, for some reason, like the worst team possible in the league. Uh, yet they still had like 45 wins. I guess that showed up because they beat us up in the overtime of the last game boys so we had to go all the way to the to the finish line and we couldn't finish it so that's unfortunate uh we got eliminated by a trash ass team uh the nashville predators good for them i guess they got a second stanley cup in a row uh so that's good for them but uh, aside from that boys i'm not too happy uh, i'm really not too happy right now Actually, the Nashville Predators, I thought that was the one that uh, they were the one to win the cup, but I'm guessing they are not. I'm guessing instead the, uh, the Ferrado Panthers that won the cup. So never mind, it's not a two cup in a row. It's not two cups in a row, it's their first one, actually. All right, so we're going to head off today into the draft lottery. Lots of players decide to retire, but for our part, it's mostly AHL players. No actual uh, in-league uh, players decide to retire, so we're good. And Ovechkin's still playing, boys. He's still in the NHL, so he's still, he still got a chance to go to the 1,000 marks, 1,000 uh, gold marks, now that he's defeated uh, Gretzky uh, for the goals. But uh, let's go to the draft pick. I don't know what we're going to go here. This is our last chance. This is our last year to prove ourselves and to actually... Make work on our worth, uh, make worth on our wor uh, words, boys. So let's see if we can uh, make a, uh, something happen. For now, I think I can only move towards maybe a 17th pick is possible. Maybe I'm going to be able to move all the way down there, but even then, that's not going to be quite a lot. Uh, I can definitely move down there by doing uh, trading away Bernier. Even then, I think I can get a lot better for that. So. I think I could possibly, possibly get a 12th pick. I could probably get a 12th pick for this guy. I'm not too sure though. I'm not too sure if that's even possible. Uh, we can definitely try it out. Let's try it out, boys. No, it's rejected. So it's not going to happen. So 14th pick, boys. Let's try the 14. Number 14 right there. And let's see if that's going to go through. I really want to try and move out as much as possible. Move in. Gonna want uh, the best prospects possible, boys. So let's move in. That's not gonna work. Okay. So we are going to the seventh pick, the seventeenth pick, boys. We're gonna try our luck. If that doesn't work, I'll go to twenty-two, uh, just for the sake of it, I guess. Let me. Uh, there we go. Let me do that. So, so uh, that's gonna be rejected as well. All right. All right. I guess. Uh, I guess, boys, we're going to twenty-second pick. Uh, fit, uh, five picks higher. Not that it's gonna make any this uh, decisive, uh, decisive factors or anything. It's, it's not gonna have any decisive factors, but we can still try something. There we go. So we moved up by five picks. Not really gonna change a whole lot right here, but let's see if we can move up uh, by another five picks. This time around to the seventeen one. Uh, just by trading away some players, and you never know, maybe players that. Um, are older that we uh, know we want to get rid of, right? So, uh, prospects, I don't think I have anything interesting. I could try and trade away these three prospects for the 17th pick, but it ain't wor gonna work. It seems like it's not gonna work. So I guess we're gonna have to start looking right away for replacements. So any players, old time players uh, that uh, could be replaced, I'm thinking of Kulikov is staying because he's our depth defenseman. I'm thinking of maybe trading away a Malkin because he's only going to drop at 38 years of age. He's going to drop, boys. And I need all the help I can get as of right now. I need the best players available. Let me try and trade them. Actually, I could probably get a really high draft pick for him. So 
let me just uh, send the pick really quick because we already know he's going to be picked up. So Olas, the very first draft pick this year by Minnesota Wild. What we could end up doing is uh, I think we can move very, very far away with this. So 17th all the way to the 12th pick. I think even the 12th pick, uh, we would give up a lot even for that. So uh, I think it's definitely plausible for us to think that we could give up uh, a lot. Uh, a lot uh, or we could get a lot more yeah i think we can definitely get a lot more so here's what was going to happen so let's see what uh, the players were available so playmaker left wing playmaker for uh for the uh for the pittsburgh penguins offensive d-man for the ottawa senators grinder right winger interesting uh right there we've got petroviki and that's about it i don't see any other elites so far yeah, I didn't see any other elite so far. Uh, we'll find someone that could be good for us. Like this Rubby Show guy could be good. We got lots of gems. A lot of gems, boys. And we already know that this guy in particular, Hodges, is an elite player. So I'm definitely going to pick him up. I'll, I'll pick this guy up. He's my pick. Uh, medium elite, 48 overall goaltender. But at least we've got finally a, a prospect goaltender to the miss. Uh, of things boys so we finally got somebody you know that's all i wanted if i would have taken that hobby show guy i would have been screwed over boys so i did the right thing right there uh is any other gems there's still other gems this renford guy is also a gem also a goaltender but i don't know if i should pick him up or not this is a guaranteed low uh, low top four pretty much and pretty much the same one for uh young men Defensive defenseman for both of them. I'll try my luck and go for Renford right here. There we go. Medium elite hybrid goaltender. So we got two goaltenders and this guy's even better than the previous one, boys. He's actually 60 overall instead of 48. So he's going to be ready a lot faster than the other one. So there we go. We got two prospects goaltender right here. So that's a really good. We got a medium goaltender guaranteed in a young man. I'll just pick up all the goaltenders, I guess. Let's pick him up. Let's pick him up, boys. Another medium elite goaltender, 55 overall. Now I've got three big-time prospect goaltenders in the uh, in the uh, the lineup. So that's really good for me, man. I'm really more than happy about what I got right now. Uh, anybody else that could be interesting? I don't. I don't see anybody. Yeah, I don't really see anybody that could be interesting. Let's uh, find out anybody that's been scouted to the max. Uh, there's There we go. There's this guy, Healy. Healy is a low, uh, low elite guaranteed, boys. Let's pick him up. Let's pick him up right here. Roger Healy, low elite sniper right winger. There's another prospect. I'm telling you, we got, we're got we full of prospects. So our future is bright. It's just if we can just get lucky right now with the the actual simulation, it would be great. You know, so we got the top six right here. It's pretty much the only one that's would be available that uh, it says is good enough. I don't see anybody else really. So yeah, I think uh, there's not a lot of options at this point. I think we're pretty much done with it. So we can take a high guess. Uh, we got uh, Bells, Hernandez. And Kulikov, I've been doing good with the, the goaltenders so far. I've got three uh, elite goaltenders back to back. So there it is. There's another one. Fourth gold, medium elite goaltender uh, that we picked up in the same draft, boys. Holy shit. And I didn't get a single uh, pick that was lower than an elite so far. Now, I might be talking my ass a bit too soon. But um, five... So far, I got four picks, and they're all elites. So that's crazy. I got uh, myself a really big time, uh, some big time chances right here. So this guy's 19 years of age. I definitely don't want someone like him. Uh, we've got this guy, I guess. Either of these guys, I guess. We can pick him up, pick them up. Defensive defenseman, Bo. I'm not too interested in that. I guess we'll pick him up. Hernandez. Yeah, seventh defenseman, pretty garbage, boys. Could have picked better. He's actually the uh, the first pick this year that uh, wasn't good for us, so that's an interesting one. 
All right, anything else that could be good? I guess Bells, we can take a shot on him. So let's take a shot on that Bells guy, another 7th seventh, seventh defenseman. So the last two picks were uh, not, that uh, not that good. But for the rest of them, man, we picked up some good players, boys, I'm telling you. So let's re-sign the coach, uh, NHL goalie coach, sure. Uh, why not? Let's re-sign him. Uh, let's resign him for the same job. So that's not what he wanted to do. Or I guess we're gonna have to give him a little bit more. We're gonna have to give him the maximum amount of con uh, of deal. I've got lots of scouts as well that need to be reassigned. So I'm gonna have to reassign them, boys. Let's do that. This guy as well, right here. I think I got like four uh, or five uh, scouts in, in total that need to be reassigned. There we go. We got this guy right here. Anybody else? This guy, Mathieu, and uh, that's pretty much it. So there it is, boys. So now we're entering the resign phase. Let's go in there, try and see what our roster looks like, who we're going to get rid of, who we're going to keep. So we still, obviously, no hook uh, grew to an 88 overall. Uh, Malkin stayed at an 83, so he didn't drop, but he's definitely going to drop during the season, boys. So... That's why I kind of thought it was risky a little bit to keep him. He's still got another two years of, of this. He's got a contract until his 40, year, 40 years. Uh, Nick Paul, which was our depth uh, forward. We, I think we want to keep him as the depth uh, forward. Why not? I think we definitely want to do that. We already have all of our centers. And since Malkin is still there, I guess we're going to be stuck with him for a while. Nick Paul, I guess what we can do is definitely resign you. We're going to resign you for a three-year deal. Definitely, it's going to be perfect because it's going to allow you to be exactly when you're going to stop dropping. Uh, we got the four players already signed for the AHL. This guy's a bottom six, so I'm not going to re-sign him at all anyways. Left wing position. I think we got one, two, three, four. So we already have our four left wingers. But Disney didn't grow so far. Hopefully, he grows within the off season. Because I really need him to grow. Terra Vinen grew to an 89. So really need Machisney to go up to that next level. The 85s or something. Would be great for us to have a type of player for that. I like that around. We already have all of our players like last time. Uh, all four of our players. Uh, we need to get rid of one of them actually. Or two of them. Because Montador, 71 overall. Needs to be signed. And uh, he's ready to play. He's ready to play as well. So we're going to sign him and uh, sign him through the regular three-year deal. Still got another lower lead next year if I keep my contract. Uh, he's going to be available as well. So uh, aside from that, I think we need to get rid of... We're going to get rid of Yaskin because he's going to drop out. There we go. And we need to get rid of another one because it's going to be four players anyways. So uh, we need to get rid of Perlini or... Dalkol or uh, Machizny uh, or Zvezhnikov boys. So whichever one is the worst one. 84, 87, 85. So I think uh, Zvezhnikov is the worst one of them all. I think. So let's just get rid of Zvezhnikov. And there we go. So we got Montador and Alexandrov. Uh, right wing position. We got our four players. Actually, we got three players. Toffoli is available. Uh, he did all right for us, I guess, last year, 45 points. But I can definitely get something better, I feel like. Uh, if I don't have any other options, I can always come back to him. So I'll, we'll get rid of him for now. We've got two players only in the minors. So this is where we need to make a decision. Uh, we Obviously, our decision is going to be uh, simple. We are not going to re-sign this guy. Instead, of we're going to release him. And we're going to need... Uh, to get ourselves uh, a right winger for the main league and two right wingers for the minor leagues. So the def defensive part, boys, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got all six of our defensemen. We have all of them already. And uh, so Dumba, I'm going to have to get rid of him because Kulakov is already my depth defenseman. And uh, Zborel seems like he grew up to an 81. So uh, we uh, we got we're gonna have to keep him. So I guess we're gonna have to get rid of uh, Matt uh, Domba, boys. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to get rid of him. So we're keeping the defense. Our defense is gonna be pretty weak, but that's what we got in front of us. Our best defenseman is gonna be Cider. 
And uh, for the miners, we got one, two, three, three defensemen. We're going to need three more. Uh, we do have Riker uh, or Riley Evans or whatever his name is. Uh, we're going to give him another three-year deal just like that. Give him the maximum amount of money. Uh, this guy, we're not going to resign him. For the next part, I guess we're going to need just two more defensemen, basically. So that's all we're going to have to go after. There we go. It's uh, marked down by me, boys. Next up, we did lose to the retirement system. We lost uh, both of our uh, goaltenders in the AHL, uh, Elliot and Dumnik. Uh, we're not gonna, we're not going to sign uh, resign this guy's garbage. Same thing for Neil. And I want to wait for my goaltenders. My four goaltenders could grow up properly. And plus, two at least two of them are trade bait. For the future, if I want to trade for a big time player or something, I've got a better uh, trade uh, availability, boys. So we still got Rask over here. I think he's still going to be available for like uh, as a backup. I don't know if he's going to drop at all or not. Uh, it's kind of scaring me a little bit. He's a French starter exact. Uh, we'll see in due time, but I do uh, for now. Only f I think I only need the goaltenders for the minors. All right, so I think we are ready to go, boys. And as you can see, I've got uh, everybody uh, signed up. My coach decided to resign and everybody. So everybody's coming back. So that's uh, really good. We've got everybody. Now, I just want to make sure that everybody did resign for the players themselves. It seems like not everybody did. It's only Nick Paul actually refused to come back. He refuses to come back. Uh, if he refuses, that's fine by me. I'll just pick somebody else. So I'll just get rid of him. I'll have to go and and uh, get myself, I guess, uh, a depth afford as well. Now that Nick Paul did not want to come back with us. Hire coaches? Coaches not renewed. Hire coaches. Okay, so I guess now we... Uh, my co goalie coach did not accept the contract either. We do have Eric Stahl. Yeah, Eric Stahl, but it's not the same one. It's not the same guy. Doesn't have the picture or anything. I think interesting. Well, his name is Eric Stahl, but I'm not going to go for him if he doesn't have the picture or anything. I'm going to go for a better one. So let's go for this uh, general A guy. And uh, NHL goalie coach, I'll give him all the amount of money he can possibly get. All right, let's give him 7.8. It's double the amount of what he was already asking. What he was already asking was quite a lot. 3 million is a lot. So imagine being paid for a coach being paid seven and a, uh, and a half million. Obviously, he's got to accept. I mean, otherwise, what the hell is he on about, you know? So let's go to the free agency. We're going to see what we ha are up against this year. As you obviously picked up Teravainen and Matthews and all that stuff. And also Besser. We picked up basically our entire first line from the free agency last year. So maybe this year we can get lucky as well. You never know. Uh, first things first, we do need to get ourselves a right winger. Left winger, we're going to look around. And nothing interesting in the left wing uh, position. So at least there's that right wing position though. Uh, that's where we're going to look at. We do need a right winger. Someone, uh, we already have better players than Toffoli. Uh, higher tier, I guess. Which is uh, Kairou and Bushnevich. Both are playmakers. Bushnevich would about have three years... Of, uh, of play available and I think because it's not an elite player I definitely want the one that is uh, has a little bit less amount of time so I can get rid of him quicker and easier but I still want to see which one of these two guys would be the best option oh it definitely be uh, would be a uh, Bushnevich yeah Bushnevich is definitely the option let's give him the three-year deal at uh, 6.8 boys give him the three-year deal at 6.8 nobody uh, 6.825. Nobody else is interested in him right now, so we should be able to get him pretty easily. We also need two right wingers that are from the minors, uh, for the minors. So let's take a look around for that. Bobby Ryan could be a really good one. I think, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's get Bobby Ryan, boys. Two year deal, sure, why not? Uh, to give him at 40 years of age. So uh, we're gonna give him three point. Uh, to 25 for three years uh, for two years and that enough let's get him as well that's going to be our two depth players i'll give him the four-year deal why not i'll give him the four-year deal at 2.525 boys 
for the minor league deal. All right, there it is. So next up, D-man. That's where uh, we got a lot of options, but we don't need a natural defenseman. We're already full on that. Although there is Chitrin, Jacob Chitrin, available as a 90 overall player. Would be quite a sensation for our team. Would be very interesting to have that type of player in there. I think it would be helpful. Uh, then again, I don't know if like we would have to get rid of one of our players, which is the main core. Would be the main course of option right here. I could try and sign Chetron, I guess. Uh, let me try and sign him over, and we'll just replace one of our gold uh, defensemen, I guess. So seventh, uh, seven years. Uh, we got how many years would it be for him? That would be. I think a six-year deal is fair enough. A six-year deal. Uh, he, he wants nine, so let's give him four mil more. 3.950, all right, for six years instead of seven-year deal. All right, come sign with us, buddy. We definitely need a defenseman like you. Next up, we need two defensemen for the AHO. Let's find out anybody interesting. We got a Ryan Suter. So we can definitely get ourselves our hands on a Ryan Suter, boys. Why not? Like, there are those veterans. Let's give him a five-year deal. Those big-time veterans. Uh, we need those veterans for the minor league. They're going to help uh, the growth of our uh, AHL players, the, the, the prospects and stuff. And we just need another guy like this. So someone that's very old or something. Uh, someone that's, uh, there we go, in his 40s or something. Brent Burns. We can get him back, boys. We traded him away. We can literally get him back. And he can play in the minors this time around. So let's get him back again. And this time around, you'll we'll, get signed for 2.925. There we go. Get him back, boys. All right. So next stop, we want uh, goaltenders. I just want to make sure I didn't make a mistake, though. With uh, Suter. He is a two-way. Okay, good. I didn't make any mistakes. So last but not least, goaltenders. We need two goaltenders for the minor league. We do have an elite goaltender available in Shosturkin, but it's not in the 90s, so I'm not interested in that. Just want to look and see what we got an option for the AHL goaltenders. Uh, I'm obviously going to always pick up the old goaltenders. Some, somebody that uh, really uh, got, didn't get uh, too much chance before. Um, we that, do have Fleury, but he's uh, like a backup goaltender. So I think, uh, there we go, picking out someone like Kudobin, Kudobin uh, would be great. I'll pick Picard, boys, why not? I'll, play, I'll pick him up, and uh, I guess we can have him a seven-year deal all the way, you know, all the way big-time deal, and uh, make sure to get him for the rest of his uh, career, basically, with us. Fosberg, same thing, really. He's kind of garbage, though. I want to pick up somebody that's not garbage. These guys haven't really played that much. Uh, Lindgren seems like a good one. So let's take uh, key, give a chance to Lindgren for him to play. Let's give him the two-year deal, boys. And uh, we'll just give him the maximum amount of deal. Seems like it's a two-way deal as well. All right, so that's uh, that. We also need a depth, of, uh, depth forward. I forgot about that. So let's just make sure that we get that depth forward that we so desperately need. All right, as it is for the depth forward, we only have... We have a lot of players that we can't take right now. These There's these guys right here. A power forward would be really great, but this guy's still growing. Uh, these Yeah, these guys are still growing. I want somebody that's still going to be there. I mean, a Blake Wheeler could be great as a depth forward. That could be a good option, I guess. A little Blake Wheeler if anything gets uh, 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 pretty bad fast. I'm kind of interested. Yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll pick him up. He's a playmaker. Let's pick him up. Uh, Two-year deal for you. I don't, I'm not sure you're going to get that deal for too long, but 4.8. That's a lot of people are interested in him. So 4.8, two-year deal. You're going to be our depth player, all right? So let's advance the day, boys, and see if everybody's going to accept my deal. Play, but I'm willing to uh, accept. There we go. So we got our goalie coach. Our goalie coach has signed with us. We do have Blake Wheeler, there we go, as our depth uh, forward. Ryan Suter, there we go. Brent Burns, Dadanov, Picard, Lindgren, Bobby Ryan. So all these depth of uh, AHL players are basically signed with us. The big guy, the big one, Jacob Chitrin, did accept my contract offer, boys. So he is going to be playing for us. 
which means I'm gonna have to get rid of one of my defensemen. Uh, Buzhnevich accepted as well. All right, there we go. So it seems like everything else is in order. So let's go ahead and simulate until the actual preseason. All right, we're in the preseason. Let's take a look at our roster moves. We already know we're gonna make uh, have to make a trade for the def defensive part. It seems it's not the case for any other players. Malkin did end up dropping to an 81 overall. So he's going to drop during the season. In the middle of the season, he's probably going to be in the 70s, boys. Uh, which is why I wanted to trade him away. But uh, I guess we're, if we're stuck with him, we're stuck with him. It is what it is. Uh, so we don't have anybody in the minors ready to play. Young Croc. Okay. Unfortunately, Machisney stayed as an 83. So that's unfortunate. He didn't grow at all. Montador did grow to his 73 overall though, so he's still growing. Uh, Alexandrov is a 69 overall now. We got our top prospects. Right winger, we got our four players. And uh, we are going to obviously need Blake Wheeler. We're going to put Blake Wheeler in there. He's going to be our depth uh, forward. Defense one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we got too many defensemen. We are going to need to send one and do the minors, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, which one do I want to get rid of? It's uh, probably one of these guys. So we're going to see in a minute. Uh, 80 of and I. 85. Chillington's really good for us. 80. Uh, we've got 77 and 79. So I think Zboril is the weakest one. So we want to get rid of Zboril, boys. Next up, goaltenders. Samson of a Tukarask dropped to a 78 overall. Okay, well, I'll keep Tukarask around as my backup goaltender for the main league, but um, he's dropping fast. He's still got a two-year deal for us at 9 million, boys. It's a rough deal. But 78 overall, I mean, not a whole lot I can do. Uh, edit the uh, AHL lines. We're just going to go ahead and do best lines for now. Same thing for here. We're just going to do best lines. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end up trading away right away my uh, uh, Zboril guy. So we need to find somebody that wants him. And maybe in the same time we can right away upgrade one of our players or our weak points. So maybe we can end up doing that. Maybe upgrade our defense at the same time. Be or maybe get a better goaltender. I think, you know what? I think that's what we're going to end up doing is getting a better goaltender because... I feel like that's what we need. Down it's going to work. We could possibly go for Spencer Knight, boys. Borland to Karask in exchange for Spencer Knight. Uh, medium elite goaltender, of course, received a big time goaltender uh, of the future. Current present for the Florida Panthers. He's doing a lot for them. He's definitely uh, playing well. He's a great player. And uh, he's the same overall as uh, Varlamov, except he's got so many more years to grow. Let's see if that's going to work out. It won't. But I can probably chime in with some couple of prospects. Remember, I still have multiple prospect goaltenders in there. And I can definitely give them something in there. I think the 48 overall one would help out tremendously. Let's do that. It's accepted. All right. So we gave them to Karask and Zboril and one of our four top the uh, top uh, medium elite prospect goaltenders that we drafted in the same year. You guys are probably going to tell, don't sh don't trade away your elites. But the pro the thing is, I don't need that many goaltenders. I mean, four goaltenders, medium elites. I'm only going to need at least two of them, not four. So I got another one at least that I can trade away. So we'll see in time if that was the right move. But right now I got Spencer Knight. An actual medium elite goaltender that's going to be able to help us out right now, right away, boys. So that's going to be, that's our first trade of the year that we have the right to do. So, which means that at the trade deadline, when we decide to make moves, we are only going to have two other moves available, two other trades. All right, so preseason is done. It looks like we're going to start off against the Vegas Golden Knights for this, uh, our fifth season. Might be our last one. This is literally our last chance, boys. One, two, three. I see three, two, and one so far. And uh, I see a fourth. So four, two, and one. 
yeah not too good we'll see how it goes in terms of the quick time simulation so first game against the vegas golden knight let's see if we're gonna get any luck not at all we start off with a loss against the vegas golden knights five to three uh saint jose sharks are a cursed team that we faced off against last year they ended up once again we lose against them again in shootout uh, there's a win against our first win of the year against the Los Angeles Kings, 4-3. Uh, we won, there we go, a second win in a row against uh, Minnesota. Not that difficult because they're, they are the worst team. Seems like we lost against Vancouver, though. Uh, we're facing off against a non-defeated team in the Blond uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. We are the first team to defeat them. Really good thing uh, to see right there. Let's keep uh, winning, boys. Let's keep on winning and getting a lot of points right here. There we go, Vegas. Uh, we uh, we win against Vegas. We lose against Edmonton. Uh, the Chicago Blackhawks, that's going to be an overtime loss. The uh, Carolina Hurricanes, that's going to be a win. And that is going to be the t the 10 first games right there. A record of 5-3-2. Not, not bad, not good either. Could be a lot better, boys. Definitely could be a lot better. Matthews, for one, is scoring a lot more. Already in the last year, but he's producing less in terms of points. Uh, it's got to do to that fact. Maybe that Taravina, I don't know if we're stealing goals or something. But uh, yeah, we're not doing bad, but we could do a lot better. Be doing a lot better. Uh, let me take a look at my, our lineups. Maybe see what uh, doesn't work and what works. My first line is going, it's doing fine. Tervine in like the second line is doing all right. It's doing good. The uh, four, uh, third line is doing really good. And the fourth line is doing decent enough. Uh, what about my pairs? My pairs seems to be working quite well. Spencer Knight not having a good, uh, that more good of a season. He's having a tough time. I think that might be the, the, uh, the, main, uh, the, the main thing that's going on right now. If we take a look maybe at our team stats, we can probably try and find out uh, what to do right here. So we are kind of at the middle of the zone for goals uh, a four. Goals against, I think we're doing fine for goals against. Power play is trash, so we are not having a good power play. And penalty kill is out of trash as well. We need to fix our penalty kill, that's for one. So definitely want to fix that because it's at in the 50s. So it's absolutely atricious. So definitely want to switch that up. So uh, not passive box. Let's put it at diamond. And maybe that's going to help out a little bit. All right, let's start simulating again, man. Uh, then we just switched off our penalty kill. That's all. We ended up having an overtime loss against Tampa Bay. A win against Montreal. Another uh, a shout out win for uh, against the uh, Senators. That's good. An overtime loss against Colorado. The the Stars were gonna win six to four. Good. Another game, back to back game against the Stars right here. That's another win. I like to see that. I want to continue to see wins like this. Uh, Nashville Predators. There's a win. There we go. We're getting wins, boys. Now we're actually starting to uh, win, which is really good. One always want to see that. Another shout out win against Winnipeg. Uh, there's a win against Minnesota. Good. In the last game against the Vancouver Canucks, please win against them. Yeah, they're another shout-out win, boys. So that's a really good record for the last 10 games. We just switched off a little bit like the penalty kill and stuff, the way we were working. It seems to be working out. Austin Matthews is producing quite well. We got He's got 30 points, 15 goals. So he's having a fantastic time right now. If we take a look at our lineups again, it's going to tell us the story right here. So uh, very well. Our first line is very much producing. Second line, everybody's working well. The third line is the one that's giving up the goals the more, or more than anything uh, anything else. That's unfortunate for uh, someone like Newhook, which I really want to grow, uh, uh, grow him. But when we have a Byfield and Matthews already, it's hard to grow him any further. Uh, goaltenders... Spencer Knight is starting to play a little bit better and Samsonov did play a lot more games So it seems like he's having a lot uh, a not better time than uh, Spencer Knight All right, so let's take a look our stats now. Are we better? Are we are we way better than we were? Definitely we score we're scoring a lot more goals 
And we're giving a lot less as well, which is good. Our power play is going up, I believe. And our penalty kill trending up big time. Definitely trending up. All right. Everything's going well, boys. Let's keep simulating again. Manually, Machisney got injured, unfortunately. So Machisney is injured now. We're going to have to replace him with Wheeler, boys. So Blake Wheeler going in there. He's replacing him. We'll keep him on the first line for now. Let's see how it goes. So we got a win against the uh, Devils. That's good. Can we get a win? There we go. A win against uh, the Oilers. We're going to keep Blake Wheeler in the uh, first pair because he, it is a top five, uh, a plus five. And uh, we keep on winning as well. We're keeping on winning games. We have a big time winning streak going on right here. It seems like Machisney not being in the team and being injured is not affecting us that much. There we go. We keep on winning, boys. Keep on winning. What did Blake Wheeler? Because Machisney is back. Blake Wheeler literally has five games in five games, uh, five goals in five games played, and eight points. This guy is a stud. Unfortunately for him. I have to uh, get Machisney back in the lineup, though. I have to get Machisney back in there. But Blake Wheeler is a beast, man. Holy shit. He's one hell of a good replacement, that's for sure. All right, so we keep on winning. We haven't lost a single game yet uh, in that simulation, particular simulation. There's the first loss, as I, right as I say that. I jinx myself. And uh, there's a win against the Los Angeles Kings. So the last record, 9-1. We are doing fantastic. Matthews got 51 points in 30 games played, 25 goals. But for the rest, it seems like we're doing fine. If we take a look at the team stats now, I bet you we went up even further. We keep going up in, in goals for. Goals against, we keep uh, trending uh, up as well, which is good. Power play went to an, uh, 21, so from 18 to 21. And our penalty kill, boys, within 30 games or within 20 games went from 58% to 81%. So definitely figured out uh, the system. Definitely figure out how to uh, to get to the system right here. So let's keep simulating. I mean, everything's going great. We are scoring goals. We are doing great, boys. We're, we keep winning. So every, uh, like the whole system's working out. I've got the strategy going for us. As long as we don't face off against a goddamn San Jose Sharks, which seems to uh, seem to have the better end of us every time, uh, we should be all right. So, yeah, we keep on winning against everybody. Yeah, we're, we're getting wins against every single team. Uh, we are not having a tough time at all. We're scoring a lot of goals, and we're not giving that much. We're getting, we're getting, uh, giving at least like minimum, maximum amount of three goals, maybe two goals per game, boys. So. That is a crazy thing to think about. Last game right here, simulation. There it is. So that's going to put us at uh, 40 games played. The last record, another one, 9 and 1. Uh, we're basically OP right now. We're dominating the league. 64 points for Matthews. 34 goals in 40 games played. Matthews is probably going to have one of those 60 goal season, boys, once again. I'm telling you. He's on his uh, on his way to do just that. That's for sure. Definitely on his way. I want. I just want to see, boy. I want to keep seeing uh, where this is gonna lead us. Uh, are we or not? Like 23. So we keep going on power play. 82. We were, we're we keep going up, up and up. It's fantastic. We're half the season done already. This was our last chance after all. So that half the season done. Machisney. Having a pretty good season. The first line's working uh, quite well. 25 points. So he's doing a lot uh, better than last year. That's for sure. Uh, Besser. He's got 36 points. So I'm guessing Matthews is doing all the job. Uh, Tara Vinan's doing pretty good. I mean, he's not going to have the same season as last year because he's playing a little bit less. But he's still like having a really good season. Uh, we've got Byfield. Which is doing fantastic for us. And Vujnevich as well. So that's really working out. The third line's working out as well now. I mean, New Hook's got 32 points in 40 games played. And we got Puri Yarvi. So that's really good. We've got Yarncroc, Malkin, and Rackle are doing fantastic as well. 
And uh, for the defense, everybody's doing great, boys. The, the whole team's doing great. And what about the goalies? Goalies, Spencer Knight keeps it at nine, uh, 900 percentage. It kind of worries me because not doing too good right now. Uh, you see, what in the playoffs? In the playoffs, it seems like he's doing very good, though. All right, well, let's keep it simulating another 10 games just for the fun of it. Uh, we defeated the uh, Arizona Coyotes. The Vancouver Canucks, we defeated them as well. That's fantastic. Let's keep on winning, boys. Dallas Stars, that's a win. Let's go. Let's keep on winning. Nashville Predators, can that be a win as well? That's going to be a loss, unfortunately. Okay. Let's keep winning, though. Let's keep getting those wins. Those are the second loss in a row. For the first time of the year, I believe, uh, pretty much, uh, we got a second uh, loss in a row. So Vancouver, the Central City Sharks, for a rare time, uh, we actually end up winning against them. Uh, there's another win against the Vegas Golden Knights. Blackhawks. Can we get a win? Yes, we can. We got two more games to simulate. The Boston, eh, that's going to be a win. We keep getting bothered by every goddamn day. It seems like we keep getting bothered by trade offers. And there's going to be a win against Buffalo as well. So now we're at 40, 50 games played. 76 points. 40 goals for Austin Matthews. Having a tremendous season right here. It's a goal scoring season for him. We already have 82 points. I think we pretty much solidified our uh, playoff spot. Now, if we keep going, though, I want to keep going as well. 82. We just are going to keep, like, if we keep winning like this, if we keep uh, producing, we're just only going to be better off. Uh, so let's not stop at all. Let's just continue. All right. We're just going to continue until the 60 uh, game mark. So. We get to the trade deadline and stuff. So let's just keep uh, uh, winning games. Keep going until the 60 uh, game mark. And we're going to assess the situation here. Don't think there's anything I could uh, should do to change the team. My team's doing fantastic. I mean, this is the best year of our entire career so far. Or that, uh, It's literally my best year as GM under the Seattle Krakens. That's for sure. We keep on winning and... Uh, I don't need to change anything. The formula is working. Everything's working perf perfectly, boys. So want to keep it that way. We don't want to change anything, you know. All right. So there uh, there we go. Let's keep it going, boys. Up against the Detroit Red Wings. Can we get a win? Yes. Not a surprise right here. And one more simulation. One more game of simulation. Up against the Tampa Bay Lightning. And that is going to be a W. So another record of 9-1. and one. I've never seen that before. I think we're looking exactly like the Flyers last year. So after 60 games played, 85 points, 47 goals for Matthews. I'm telling you, he's got a high chance, very high. He's going to get the 50s, but he's got a very high chance of getting the 60 goal mark. Very high chance, boys. We already are in the 100 points, which pretty much means that we've already clinched the playoffs. We're already in the playoffs. Now we just got to make sure that we make uh, have the President's Trophy this, year, this time around. How far have we uh, gotten in terms of our goals for and everything? We are the best goal scoring team, the best defensive team, power play, be second best power play team, penalty kill, doing pretty good. It pretty much stopped at 82 it peaked uh, at 82.4 so it's not really changing any further than that uh, but uh, Matthews I mean look at all these they are producing Matthews is off the chart obviously is the uh, the guy that is producing like crazy but Tara Vine is doing pretty good for a second liner played on the second line the entire year he's got seven is a point per game boys Bester on the first line point per game as well Chitrin 50, uh, 50 points already. So as you can see, having a fantastic season. A great addition to our team. New hook, really good seasons for him so far. I'm really happy. He's on the third line, remember. He's playing on the third line. He's got 40, 48 points. So he's really like having a good time. Brznevich, Byfield. He's actually like producing more than Byfield is. And Byfield is on the lineup further than him. He's playing more time on ice, so... Uh, that's crazy. That is crazy. But Chisney, on his end, did get injured for about five games, but still within 55 games, 
He's got 42 points, boys. So Machisney is having a much better season. Uh, definitely a successful season this time around. That's going to help his growth up quite a bit. And for the rest, I want to see where Mal where is Malkin. Malkin's got 31 points, 60 goals, uh, 15 goals. He's still in the 500 mark. And uh, for goalies, I mean, Sansonov, Spencer Knight, uh, they're both doing great. They're both playing um, as many games. Spencer Knight played a little bit more. Uh, it's doing a little bit worse for wear, but uh, Samsonov, I mean, only... Samsonov literally has only two loss in the entire season he's played so far. So two loss, and they're both in shootouts. So he hasn't lost a single game in regulation. Samsonov is a beast this year. Anyways, we're going to stop it right here. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.